federal judge has sided with the Wayne County Airport Authority over its plan for new pickup and drop off spots for disabled travelers. But the legal battle isn't over for those calling the bus stops a form of segregation. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards has the story. Detroit Metro, one of the largest airports in the world, we should treat people with disabilities with dignity. An attorney, Jason Turkish, says based on Detroit Metro Airport's actions today, passengers with disabilities will now be outcasted and stigmatized. Nowhere else in the United States are there segregated bus stops for persons with and without disabilities. But effective today, those riding a bus to the airport with disabilities will now be dropped off curbside at the terminal after those without disabilities are dropped off at a nearby parking lot to cross the street to enter the terminal. To force buses to circle for endlessly to serve different stops at the airport, the airport complains about traffic and congestion. They're putting buses on a hamster wheel for no reason. Turkish filed a temporary restraining order a few weeks ago attempting to make the new accessible curbside stops for everyone. Friday, the court ruled in favor of the airport. But what the court said is that this isn't segregation because everybody can use it. If everybody could use these stops, we never would have gone to court. But, what, but just this morning, the airport has put up signs, and we have photos of those signs, disabled only. Stop for people with disabilities, stop for everybody else. Turkish says passengers who are disabled just want to be treated like everyone else. We're going to continue to explain to the court why separate bus stops for disabled and non-disabled is unprecedented in America and really threatens 25 years of progress with the ADA. So now the case moves forward despite today's ruling. Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. And just minutes ago, the airport sent us this statement on the judge's ruling that says, quote, the court affirms what we've been saying all along. This boils down to two fundamental issues. First is a private for-profit bus operator's demands for exclusive front door service at our terminals. Second and more important is the airport's ongoing desire and commitment to provide safe, accessible and fair choices for our customers with disabilities and the ground transportation providers that serve them.